Good morning, everyone. This month has been a tumultuous one, and we're not even halfway through. And that has been true for many of our months in 2020. Sometimes when we experience big emotions, we can get really overwhelmed. It's easy to get stuck in the present uh, or unable to recognize the present when we have these big feelings that are washing over our bodies. So I wanted to share a story that's a little bit about how we can self-regulate and how we can come back to ourselves. And this is called The Heart and the Bottle by Oliver Jeffers. There was a girl once, much like any other, whose head was filled with all the curiosities of the world with thoughts of the stars and wonder at the sea. She took delight in finding new things. Until one day she found an empty chair. Feeling unsure the girl thought the best thing was to put her heart in a safe place, just for the time being. So she put it in a bottle and hung it around her neck. And it seemed to work. It seemed to fix things at first. Although, in truth, nothing was the same. She forgot about the stars and stopped taking notice of the sea. She was no longer filled with all the curiosities of the world and didn't take much notice of anything. Other than how heavy and awkward the bottle had become, but at least her heart was safe. It might never have occurred to the girl what to do had she not met someone smaller and still curious about the world. There was a time when the girl would have known how to answer her, but not now, not without her heart. And it was right at that moment she decided to get it back out of the bottle. But she didn't know how. She couldn't remember. And nothing seemed to work. The bottle couldn't be broken. It just bounced and rolled right down to the sea. But there, it occurred to someone smaller and still curious about the world that she might know a way. And it just so happened, she did. The heart was put back where it came from. And the chair wasn't so empty anymore. But the bottle was. Things might be very overwhelming, uh, overwhelming with joy or overwhelming with anxiety or just overwhelming. May we all find ways to open up our hearts and find ways to be present and enjoy the curiosities of the world together.